So now let's talk about the law that started it all. Boyle's, Charles, Gay-Lussac's combined gas law, all of them developed from the ideal gas law. The ideal gas law came first, and it all centers around the idea that um, gases behave perfectly under all situations because that is what is defined, that's what defines an ideal gas. Now, actually, and this is going to sound really strange, but if you look up an ideal gas in the back of your book, it actually says an ideal gas is one that behaves according to the ideal gas law. And rule one in English class when I was growing up was you never define a word with the word. So I changed it a little bit to say it behaves perfectly. Now, what do I mean? What I mean is if you're talking about Boyle's law, then the ideal gas, when you double the pressure, the volume will go down by a half, exactly a half. No, no slight variations, no anything. Now, obviously, we don't live in an ideal world. We live in a real world. And there are such things as real gases as well. We're going to talk, them, talk to them at the very end of this whole unit. So, but for the most part, if we don't talk about um, things in an ideal situation, it makes the calculations really difficult. So let's assume that all gases behave perfectly under all situations. They're going to behave according to the ideal gas law, which is PV equals NRT. Or you, sometimes you'll hear me call it as Pivner. So in PV equals NRT, the pressure is in ATMs, uh, and that's P. V is your volume, and that's going to be in liters. T is your temperature, and that is going to be in kelvins. R, now this is, this is very important. R is what is called the gas constant. And the gas constant for our, uh, for, for our class is going to be 0 0.0821. Now, there are several gas constant values. And each of them have a different value based on these two units in particular, uh, atmospheres and liters. You can have one that has kilopascals. You can have one that has millimeters of, uh, uh, meters cubed for volume. So, and the value is going to change accordingly. We really would prefer to keep it in atmospheres and liters. They're the easiest two units to convert to. So here's the thing. Do you need to memorize this number? No. You don't need to memorize it. I will always give it to you. But you will use it so often that it will become second nature to you because you're always going to be putting things in atmospheres and liters. And then N, N is the only factor we really, uh, the only other factor we don't know. And N, we actually do know. We've just never seen the symbol. N stands for moles. And of course, we're going to come back to mole conversions again. Now, one other thing that you may see as you're doing ideal gas problems is you may see the phrase STP. STP does not, is not a motor oil. It is not Stone Temple Pilots. It is standard temperature and pressure. Okay, so you're talking about a temperature of 0 degrees Celsius and a pressure of exactly one atmosphere. So sometimes they'll say a gas is being held under standard conditions. Whenever, they say, whenever you see the word standard, always assume that it means 0 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere of pressure.